Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you're not getting any and your ball striking stinks, let's take a look at your hands. What are they doing throughout the swing? So let's focus on the back swing. What are your hands doing from the address into your back swing, specifically your takeaway? All right, are they staying nice and low and long? Or are you lifting your hands up right away? All right, I put my campers next to a great swing, Jessica Quarter, super clean, great model swing. When she takes the club back, she keeps her hands crazy low and then she adds her rotation. What she doesn't do is lift the club straight up. All right, so if you lift the club straight up, that tells me that you're not using your body. All right, so we gotta get the chest and the arms in sync. By keeping the hands low, the club head outside the hands, it allows us to create nice width. Boom, we have our chest moving, hands far from our head. We're letting the hip rotate, and that helps us create a really nice rotation. All right, so just really focusing on the hands, keeping them crazy low. And as you take your club back, the hands are gonna feel like they're gonna brush the thigh. All right, that's the feeling I want. Club head outside the hands. So as you take the club back, the hands are gonna feel like they work a little inside. The hands are crazy low, so well be below my waistline. And then they start to elevate as you continue your rotation. All right, so a great way to practice this, so you have a little reference point, is to lay a shaft down at the balls of your feet, get into your setup, and then go ahead and get your hands right over the shaft, making sure the club head is outside of the shaft. All right, so that's why I like the shaft, because it adds a little guidance for you, because you don't want to whip the club head inside the shaft like that. Then you'll be in deep doo-doo. You'll be too flat. All right, so we want to keep the head low, turn the chest. So at this point, as we continue the turn, the club head will get parallel, and then we hinge and finish our rotation, and we're done. All right, so it's just a great way to train. I'll do it from the face on view. All right, so you're going to focus on hands crazy low, turning the chest, letting the hips rotate, adding a little hinge and rotation, and you're done. All right, that's just a clean backswing. It's going to help you hit a really, really good ball.